Oh, technical difficulties today, gentlemen. Happy Friday. Hope everybody had a good week. Yeah, OBS had an update, and I'm trying out some of their new features. So, uh, yeah, had some had some difficulties with hitting the live button, the stream button, getting things set up. I hope everything's working. Uh, today, hello, Brad. Hello, hello, Cookie. Glad to see you guys made it. Today, we're gonna. I'm starting something a little bit different. Uh, had a lot of questions, you know, on how to get started and different aspects throughout the livery creation process. So, starting today going to start a livery from scratch and every episode so to speak so every friday we'll kind of go over a, a section of it today we're going to be as long as my cat doesn't unplug my monitor come on let's go today we're going to be going over the description file and downloading the texture template kind of getting everything set up and get ready for the artwork side of things so we're going to just jump right in and, and get to work on it so just i i decided we're going to use uh, the F1, not where I want to be. The F1, Mirage F1, because it's a it's a fairly uh, yes weekend finally. It's a it's a fairly simple texture template. Uh, oh, I need to start recording this too, just in case YouTube doesn't keep it. But uh, the Mirage F1 is a fairly simple texture template, so we'll go with that to get started. Uh, also, the description file they provide us is. Pretty well done. So I'm just going to throw this into my... I already have an F1 folder. I put all my old templates away so that we're not working off of those. Uh, we'll work off of this new one. So get the texture template downloaded, and then we'll get it extracted. While we're waiting for that to download, we'll also grab the description file from one of the base liveries. Let's uh, go over to my DCS install. Let me go core mods aircraft mirage f1 liveries and we're going to want to make sure we remember this folder name too in fact while we have this up we could uh my stream deck's not working we're going to create another folder there it goes over into our saved games liveries we're going to create a mirage f1 folder right here so I'm just going to copy this name so that I don't mess it up. Make a new folder and just call it the same. That way we'll have our thing set up. And for this one, well, we need a name for the livery. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So for now, I'm going to just put stream livery in. And then we can name it later on when we're done. So now we have our, our directory set up under our save games for that. Uh, I'm just going to grab their base description file here. We'll open it in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to copy that paste it into there so we have our description file set up let's go ahead and change the name on that yeah i try to keep things fairly organized hold on that's all kind of jacked up there we go so here's our description file for the mirage you can see they've done a really good job uh of organizing it so that's really nice and we're just going to come in here and we're going to call it it's your stream livery for now until we decide the the art path we're going on so yeah, uh, Cookie, as you said, you know, having your folders organized, that's, it's everything. It, it will make life so much easier on you if you, if you keep things organized along the way. We have our description. Let's head over to our templates. Mirage F1, that should be done downloading. Let's, why do I not see extract? There it is. Extract these bad boys out. Pretty large texture template, but it's nice. You'll see once we get it opened up here, they did a really good job of giving us the proper files and keep them organized. That's kind of why I chose this one, because it's a good one to get started with. But we can pop in here now, and we've got our two different ones here. We're just going to peek inside of them real quick. So we've got our commons fuel tanks, things like that in that one. And then this one, we have our, it's the same thing, basically. Uh, we'll work off of, it's been a while since I've done this, so I have to remember which one's which, but I'm pretty sure this is, I'm just gonna open it up in Photoshop real quick. Sometimes when you download these templates, it takes you a little bit to kind of work through and figure out what files you're going to need to, to work on. Yeah, so that's basically, basically the wings as you can see 
We'll just work through these. I think it was common four that I used. No, that's the F1B. Go up a layer. F1 EQBQ, common four, F1 E. Here it is. So I haven't extracted these yet until I find the exact ones that I'm looking for. So there's the, the side panels, as you can see. So and that's going to be one of our main files. Along with, let's go back up. So that's your common side panels. I don't know why they organized it like this, but you know, you can figure it out. And then, so we got common three, common four, common five. And you can tell kind of what these are if we go to the... Oops, I meant to go to save games. If we go into our li uh, our description file, we'll be able to tell what's going on. So we can pull, pull that up just so things make a little more sense. I'm actually going to pin this one as well so that I have quick access to it over here. So here we can see we've got our common four is used for a lot of these. Some of these are our numbers, like second digit. These are going to be your things that we're not too worried about to get started, but we'll, we'll go all through this later. But you can see common four. You can kind of see over here where they're using common four uh, a lot. So this texture file is used for all of these. Got common three here. Just highlight that one. So common three. And then common five. So those are our three main texture files we're going to be using. So let's, now that we know what they are, head back over into, into our templates and get those organized. Because we don't want these. I'm going to pull these out, the ones that I want. So let's go ahead and extract this guy. A little bit slow. A lot of files, a lot, a lot of information. And you can, once you have the files that you're going to work off of, you can always go through and just delete the zip file so you're not taking up disk space. But for now, I'm just going to leave them. This is a big one. We know we have common three, four, and five that we want. Those are going to be the main files we're working on. And here we got three, four, and five. So let's grab three. I don't know what's on three. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a big file. That's a big file. Been a long time since I worked on the Mirage F1, so. I don't remember what these are off the top of my head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there we went. Okay, so that's the tail fin. Okay, we'll leave that open. We've already got four open, but I'm going to reopen it from the extracted file. I'm going to reopen all these, actually. You have no idea what all this is? It's just texture templates. We're getting organized to create delivery, man. It, it's a little confusing. That's why I'm kind of doing it from scratch. So I'm going to paste that three in there. And then I'm going to grab four. We're doing the EE, so I'll grab four. And we'll put four in here. And then I'll grab five. And I'm taking them out of here because I just don't want to have to come into this folder section every time I want to work on things. So There's our three files right there. And if I look in the one that I did before, you'll see I have three or there's some normal maps in here. These are the numbers, rough mats. Uh, four and five rough men and then the patch. So yeah, we're we're on we're on track here. I kind of got that cheat from before when I worked on it. So I'm probably the key now that I like to do is I'm gonna kind of move this over here to the side. I like to make sure my PSD files, my template files, are the same name as what's in them in the description file, so that when I save them out, I don't have to rename them. So we're going to rename gonna make this a little smaller so we can we can see our file names here and we can see our Lua file here so we're just gonna go with common four right here I'm not gonna rename this I'm gonna rename it a file and we're gonna take everywhere that this exists I'm gonna replace it with that 
Looks like there's 20 entries. So every one of these that is highlighted in orange, which is calling our common four file, we're going to rename the common four so that we don't have to fight that. Uh, the normals and stuff will come through and fix these in a minute. Right now, we'll leave them set to true. So they're pulling out of the default directory. But eventually, we'll have our own rough mets and stuff. But right now, they're fine as, as they are. Uh, we'll do the same thing. For, it looks like common three has the same name. So that's good. Just double check. Yeah, it's the same name. So we're good there. And Krita. I don't know what Krita is. What do I not know? What, or am I not thinking? I know what. I gotta look that up. What is Krita? Oh, Krita is. Oh, okay, yeah. It's the raster style graphics editor. I know a lot of. I've never used Krita. But I know a lot of people use GIMP, which is also another common one. And all this can be done in GIMP as well. Right now, what I'm doing, this is just, uh, this is just a text editor, basically. This is VS, VS code. You can use Notepad++ for the description file as well. So, well, common three is good. Let's check common five. And that looks like that one's good as well. So we don't need to edit five or three. So we'll leave those be. And we'll start checking out our model here. Let's open up three, four, and five. This is going to lag the hell out of my computer because these are massive files. But they'll load eventually and it'll be okay. Yeah, it's vector. Yeah, it does vector vector art. It's basically like Adobe Illustrator. It took me a minute, but yeah. Uh, but I, I think GIMP, I don't know. I think GIMP's a little more related to the Photoshop side of things. I can't comment on credit because I've never used it. So I don't know if you can do this stuff in there. I would imagine you can. I mean, if it's an art program, it's an art program. Unless you're limited on usability. So the first thing I like to do is I'm just going to throw a color on top of all of these so that I can make sure that my texture files work. And let's go with that color instead. And we'll just save a copy of these out in DDS format into our, why didn't my pinned folder stay there? Oh, well, we'll go find it and pin it again. Mirage F1, pin to quick access. Oh, because I call it stream livery. Duh, it's right there. Uh, we don't need to rename it, so we'll just save it as DDS. Uh, I'm just going to use basic export format for now. Nothing fancy. We'll do the same thing on all these just so that we can see that they're working. Man, I, I, I probably need to come up with a different name. I keep not realizing that that's what that is. Yeah, as long as Critic can export to DDS or TGA, you can actually do them in TGA or Targa as well. That's going to be the main hiccup there. I don't know if it'll do it. So we have those three texture files. Let's take a quick look at our stream livery. So we have our description file and our three texture files that should be being used. We should now. Oh, we had a DDS update. I don't know if I updated my model view or auto exec, but... If not, we'll go do that as well. I think I did. And we got to go find the model because I cleared out. Oh, I did go get it, but I'll show you guys where it's at anyway. So we'll go load model. It is four mods. So DCS open world four mods aircraft Mirage F1 shapes and then mirage f1 and it's just f1 ed so being i already have it i'm just going to use the recent files control l open up our livery tools and now on here i don't know i haven't really done this much hopefully yeah there it is so when i double click on this this should be a gray aircraft oh we're missing textures so we've got issues 
I'm going to pull this off screen for now. So you can see we got issues. We got to sort this out now. Hmm. Was not expecting that. I'm just going to quickly jump it to another livery. This is most likely a Lua description file issue we got here. So we're going to double check all of our naming conventions. Everything's right. Uh, so we got common four Mirage F1 common four. That is right. Set to false, so it should be reading. Take a look at common four and see which one that is. So that one shouldn't be missing. That is interesting. That's our main body. It should be pulling. It's obviously pulling the tail, but it's not pulling the right tail. If you notice, it's pulling the wrong. This is the only one I renamed. So this is, uh, this is going to be my issue here. And I don't know why that's named, right? Let's jump back over. See, this is why I'm doing this because when I normally just stream, I've already got all this stuff set up and it can be a struggle to get this stuff set up. So let's go take a look at the template file and see if there's any other ones in there that I'm not seeing properly. That's the F1B, EF1, EF, or F1, F1, common three, common four. What is in this one? B's and Q, BQ. That shouldn't be those. Because those are, that's the new one. I want to do the EE. Take a look at this. It's, these files suck for loading. Let's experiment. So let's save. Let's go ahead and throw it. Well, the color shouldn't matter. Because I'm just referencing a file at this point. Mirage F1 common four. Mirage F1 common underscore four. I mean, that's the right file name. There's no doubt about that. Trying to figure out why this isn't working. I'm wondering if something broke. Let's uh quickly, since I already have one saved up that I know works, just to make sure it's not an issue with the model viewer. Let's grab this guy. Mirage F104. Actually, what I should do is grab that description file. That would make more sense. Look at this description file. So in here, you can see I've taken out the normal maps. Common, what I'm checking here is the, the actual model reference. But it looks to be the same. So if we do that, it is, oh. Yeah, it's the same. So why, why is that no work? I'm very confused by this. Let's reload the model viewer. Maybe we had an issue with the model viewer because according to the description file, that should be working. But we'll just relaunch the model viewer. I don't know why that didn't work. Cause I mean, the it's calling the proper. So the way the, the description file works is this is the assignment from the 3d model basically. And then this is the texture you're telling it to, to use. And you can see We'll actually just take this first line of the one that I know works. Well, I should I guess I should check it. Maybe they've changed something. But uh, we're just taking that file name and applying it to that model section. So it should, in theory, be gray. All right, I'm on the livery tool plugin, and I guess can't see it over there. F1E. So these all work. 
That one definitely doesn't work. And even these two didn't work. So we're going to do this. We're going to go and look at this description file. It's the one I have open. I don't see why this wouldn't work. What does the bull in the description file entry mean? The bull? The boolean over here? Okay, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. So this, if it's false, it's going to pull out of the directory that, you've, that you're in. If it's true, it's going to default to the old one. That's what you're talking about. Took me a minute to get the lingo there. I'm going to, for now, I don't want any of these numbers. We're going to troubleshoot. We need to troubleshoot all the way down. Simplify the description file. I can always bring stuff back in if I need to. Uh, so this one, don't want any of this. Yeah, the true false is just that. It's uh, it, whether it's pulling it, whether it's pulling it from the texture file or from the DCS or mods file, is what that is all. That's all that boolean's doing. Don't care about pilot or fuel tanks for now. All that's going away. Don't care about countries. Get rid of that. Now we resaved that. Let's see if there's something in there that was messing with it. None of that should matter, to be honest. If that doesn't work, we're going to, I don't know. We'll have to do some experiments. I'm wondering if they changed something. I know they've, they released the B, what is it? The BE model. So maybe that changed their model naming convention or something. I don't know. Struggles are real. This is the, the love of livery creation every time they release an update things change it might might just be something i'm doing okay so now it's now you can see it's actually it's not we're not getting uh the error texture so we're we're on the right path here as you can see now it's got colors to it <laughs> what is this my stupid little brain can't comprehend this how you doing eagle you have a good week so we're on the right path now we just got to figure out why it's not why these aren't working basically because they're pulling what it's doing is it's pulling out of the uh, hold on let me get my brain straight it's pulling out of the core mods folder instead of pulling out of our texture file and it shouldn't be because we have it right here saying to pull that's what that boolean is right there it's telling it to pull it out of our texture file and it's not doing it and i don't know why double check and stuff script file debugging seems like something i could easily script a validator for well it's it's not really in here so much it's I think the issue is right now i'm gonna try a different module and see if my delivery shows up no it doesn't just checking a few things so you can see there's some discrepancies so i'm on the f1b right now and you can see that the wings are changing but the body's not so this these aren't even my liveries this is their liveries so there's something funky going on here. So those all work. Let's try the EEs and see. Yeah, there's something weird going on here. In the bottom of VS Code, you can switch line ending type. What's... I'm not, I'm not a coder. What are you talking about? But this isn't, this isn't a VS code or a coding issue. This is a model issue right now. I can almost guarantee that. So evidently something I deleted. Didn't like it. 
so we're going to bring some stuff back in. And basically, I'm going to look for this file. These are all digits, though. These shouldn't matter. Unless it was this one that I took out that was causing the issue. So let's just take out the digits and leave that one for now. The bad part is every time we edit the description file, we got to relaunch the model viewer. Can't have a force update on there. I didn't think this was going to be that challenging. <laughs> I had to pick the one module that's kicking my ass. We'll figure it out, though. That's part of the process. It's changed since the last time I did it. So, And I'm not surprised. I mean, that was a while ago. I think it was when the F1E first came out. It's the last time I did any of this. So. All right. That's what it was. We fixed it. So here, let's go back and review. So we've got two different sections here. Uh, this, if you can see here, it's referencing zero four underscore one, and here it's under it's referencing underscore two. So these are different sections of the model that they're referencing, and what we needed was two. So we should, in theory, if if I'm correct, we should be able to delete that, and then this. Got to restart it. Should still work. So. Yeah, exactly, Brad. Like, you know, learning the little tricks like this is why I'm doing these streams. Because I can tell somebody, oh, you just got to edit your description file. But sometimes editing the description file can be trickier than just adding a line in or, you know, changing a true default. So it's, it's good to see the backside of it. Yeah, that works. So. <laughs> and that's and that's why I stream also is that way if people are having issues you know you can come in here and ask questions if you're even if it's not related to what I'm doing I'm more than happy to try to help you troubleshoot because I mean you can see I've spent the last 20 minutes troubleshooting the description file because I didn't know how it works but we have it working now and that's good so we can just get rid of this da -da. we can just comment out that and that for now because we're not going to use those until later and when you comment them out it basically sets them as if they're true i just like to comment them so that i know later i need to come in and do those so we got the fuselage working i don't like all the numbers on here but we'll fix that after the fact uh, we'll get rid of those with arguments now let's see if we can get the tail and stuff working so i'm going to guess it's going to be the same it's going to be this two right here uh, and you can see it's set to true. So we're going to go false. We're going to delete one out. What was the fix? Uh, let me show you right here. So you can see here, uh, the model reference for this texture is common zero three underscore one. And then, then we have basically another model reference for common zero three underscore two underscore one was not the right one for the F one E E it's underscore two. So we have to set two defaults and then basically get rid of, well, yeah, just, I'm just going to delete one. Uh, and this should fix, this should fix the second one. So it's got two different references in the one description file. My guess is one is for the CE and one is for the EE. And these are just the model callouts. So when you have a model, like say in what, whatever your program, Blender or 3D Studio Max or Maya or whatever they're using, whenever you assign a texture to it, it has a model ID. And that first line in the description file is your model ID, basically. That makes sense. And the naming of that is important. You don't want to change them, but you got to find the right one. And that worked for our tail. You can see now our tail is set up right. Exactly. So like, well, for example, the, the new one that came out, the two seater, the BE, I believe it is. It would have a different model reference, probably for just the fuselage, I would guess. Because it's got a different model shape to it. But the wings and the tail could still be the same because they're the, they're the exact same model as long as they're optimizing their stuff. But yeah, so that fixed that. Let's grab, so we're, we're on the right track now. We figured out what it was. That makes me happy. Let's get rid of all these digits again. We're gonna get rid of these digits a different way. Or I'm gonna try to do it a different way. 
And then we have our we have our common four done, which is our fuselage. We have our common three done, and I'm gonna comment that out. Now we just gotta do our common five. And we have the same thing here. Here you can see we have reference to one and a reference to two. I already know it's two now through trial and error. Come in here, set this to false so that it's pulling it out of our directory. I'll just go ahead and comment that out now. Save. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Brad. This should have fixed everything. Now all we got to do is fix our, find the arguments for the numbers and set them how we want so that we don't have the numbers. I personally don't like any of the adjustable numbers on the aircraft because they normally look like shit, to be honest. They just, they don't blend right. Uh, yeah, They're just like, they're stuck on top of the aircraft and I don't like that look. So I normally disable all numbers and then just put my own. Yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. It's all grayed out. Now we got to do numbers. There are some oddities here. And we'll figure... Oh, I think that's also an argument thing. So there should be another, another file somewhere. We'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Because there's different variants of this within the arguments that will change the different style of tails. And I don't remember which ones we want for, for our thing. But. So we'll just come through the arguments now. Normally, our numbers are down here at the bottom. Yeah, that's so. That's not it. That's changing the whole tail section. So that's the. If I can get a better view, so you can see that's actually changing model there. We're gonna leave it at zero. See, this is so. This is countermeasures. You can see that popping in down there. We'll have to figure all these out. I don't know exactly what I'm going to want. So there's that piece changing. You can see that. We need to find these texture files, though, so that we can still color them however we want. Uh, that's a that's a drain line there. You see this right here? All kind of little things they've done on this model, which is pretty cool, actually. Those are antennas on the top. You can kind of see things changing up there. And, oh, there's some kind of a pod up here on the front, too. Hey, kitty cat. It's stream time. It's not play on the keyboard time. Let's lay down. Uh, let's see what else we got here. That one doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, that's like the whole section back there. Okay, so that does have something to do with numbers, but... Doesn't get rid of them. We might, depending on how they set this up, that's changing up there. We might have to do empty texture files to get rid of the numbers. I don't like doing. But... They gave us plenty of decal options. I don't even know what some, some of these don't appear to be doing anything. One of these should change the numbers. That's the light right there. You can see that. That's the different ejection seats right there. So you can have different model ejection seats in it. Different pilots. Kind of cool. I haven't messed with this in a while, so it's kind of fun to go through these and see what they've changed. Helmet, no helmet. That's cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, visor up, visor down. Oh, they even got the animation in for that. So check this out. That's kind of cool. So when you do the visor thing, what it's doing in game basically is changing this argument. Do -do 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 -do. Running through that series is what it's doing. I uh, really would like to find the numbers. Nothing seems to be. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. But there isn't a. An empty number. So that's going to be an issue. Ah, I hate that. You 
You see, no matter where I go on the slider, there's always something there. So we are going to have to use an empty texture for them, which isn't terrible. I mean, we can make that work. So let's head back over to our Lua file, and we'll look at the one I've got here. This is the basically the original one that we had, and we can just find any of these digits in here. Uh, let's see. So these are all common first digit. I'm trying to just figure out what they've got going on here. There should be a common one for all digits. Spanish digits. So they've got literally every different nationality decal on. That's kind of a... That's kind of a silly way to do it. And the argument... Let, let's try some of these other arguments before we move on. And make sure there's not one that I can just get rid of them with. Numbers themselves. I'd like to be able to just wipe the numbers all together. Wing flex. I don't think there's going to be one. Wing tip pylons. Pylons. Damage. Now we're getting up into the damage stuff, which... Nothing I really mess with too often. We'll just keep going just to see if there's anything in here that will totally wipe the numbers. But I'm going to say there's probably not. Let's that. Mm, I don't like the way this is done. But. but basically what it's doing. Let's reset and I'll show you. So if you, we look at the description file. We can see we have Spanish digits, Spanish digits, Spanish digits, French digits, box nose gear. So we have all these different things. And every one of these uh, numbers on the aircraft is a different one in here. So it's currently pulling all of these out. If we look at... What I did in here versus what's in here... The countries. I wonder if I delete the countries out. Might be one of those things where we have to. I don't even see USA in here. Is it? Oh, there it is right there. So I was just going to leave USA in here. And see if it gets rid of all the numbers minus the USA ones. I don't think it will. Uh, oh, here we go. They've already got it written down in here. 993 is the flight number variant. So, 993. Oh, that's just back there on the tail, though. That's not what we're looking for. Wing light, oil drain variant, RWR variant, nose, chaff flare, tail variant, helmet skin variant, ejection seat type, and cockpit. Nothing for the numbers. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is fine. Let's save this. And close that. All right, this is the trials and tribulations of livery creation. So this is what people ask for. <laughs> it's not exciting, but there's a lot of troubleshooting. But hopefully people can learn from it. It's better than a cut-up video where you get the final result because the final result isn't always easy to achieve f1ee the nice part is once you get it set up the artwork is straightforward so that did not make a difference you can see they all still have all the numbers and that's what i was afraid of we can try bringing over and i'm sorry i keep switching between this when you see the ones with all this text in it these are the ones that uh that i had copied from their livery basically so we're going to do this i'm going to bring all these numbers back over that i deleted earlier when we were troubleshooting and here we go so what i'm going to try first okay so these are actually all pulling wait a minute these are all pulling the same 
same number. So we're going to try to replace all these with empty. Now, some liveries have an empty texture file in their default directory, and some do not. Uh, in this case, it's pulling faults. So it's going to look in our texture template file for this empty texture. I'm, I have an empty texture that I've made for this purpose. Let's go grab it. Uh, deliveries. Maybe I don't. Templates. I can grab one, though. I have one. I'm pretty sure I have one in here. Where have I used it before? Template accessories. There it is. Empty right there. Empty DDS. We'll take that and we'll drop it into our livery. And that way when it, and this is just, I'll pull it up. This is literally an empty file. Like there's just no, nothing there. So if you turn off the back, this layer, there's just nothing there. It's a transparent PNG file or DDS file. And that's so that when it, it's pulling a texture, but that texture just quote unquote doesn't exist. It exists, but there's nothing in it. That's one way to wipe out the numbers. That's the way I prefer to do it. That way you don't have conflicts, but not sure it's going to work. Yeah, they're still pulling them for some reason. I don't know why. So now we're down another rabbit hole. How do we disable the numbers in the Mirage F1? Because we are pulling this. Hey, welcome back, Cookie. So that's pulling. You made a video. Nice. Trying to figure out why these aren't working. I know on mine, I did not use this. Mirage F1. So I just used... Okay, I see what I did. I used my common file instead. So what we can do that that should in theory work. F thirty five edit. Yeah. Is that are you find the F uh is that Microsoft Flight Sim or DCS mod that you're doing that with? I'm just getting rid of these rough mats because we definitely don't need these if we're running extra files like this. I can't get into Microsoft Flight Sim. I've tried. No real life. Oh, nice. Did you take existing footage and edit it up? Nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge F-35 fan. <laughs> I think it's highly overhyped aircraft. That likes to punch its pilots out of the ejection seat without them asking. All right. Let's try that. A little bit of editing there. Save that. Trying to keep up on Discord. I got a bunch of messages today. Come on, please work. Please work. Please work. Ah, we got rid of some. We've got some errors, but that's fine. We're on the right track. At least if I'm getting errors, I know I'm working on the right things. So now I should be able to change it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's do this. I know exactly what happened now. It's going to be a little tedious because of the way they have this laid out, but there's nothing I can do about that. Almost all fighters today are overhyped. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on your outlook. 
I grew up in, you know, the era of the F-16s, F-15s, F-18s. Or new when I was young. Newer, not like brand new, but. And, uh. I just, today's aircraft, I know they're like really superior when it comes to technology but to me they just they lack that fighter essence i guess they just you look at like cold war jets like the f4 that look at uh you know the f-16 and stuff they just have a look about them they have a sound about them they just there's something special about them and then you look at like the f-22 or the f-35 and it's like it just doesn't have that same appeal to me did some F-16 not flying last night. Did some... Flew a campaign with the squadron. I flew circles in the air for like an hour. and Shot nothing. But hey, it was fun. Flew with the guys. So that was the best part. It was fun coming in. It's At night, sun came down as we were coming in. And the beautiful sunset happening in the background. So that was kind of nice. One thing I'll give DCS, sometimes those sunrises and sunsets look absolutely gorgeous. And we had an absolutely gorgeous sunset last night, so. Hopefully, we're, we're getting there. The F1E. Hey, look at that. Those numbers are gone. We still got some on the tail, but I don't know why. But these numbers are now gone. These numbers are now gone. So that all I did is I changed the decals here to empty. And I think the reason why is we have more numbers down here. Yeah, so we just got to repeat that for the next section. I really do not like it like this. To me, this is, this is really, really, it's a poor way of doing this. Congrats, Cookie. Uh, yeah, because these, these haven't separate ones. I should be able to pick which ones I want. Not, I shouldn't have to empty out the entire description file in order to make this work. But that's where we're at. So I'll do it to the next one too. We got to do all of these decals and digits as well. Not a fan, not a fan, but. At least once it's set up, it's done. There's done and over, and you don't have to mess with it anymore. You gotta remember how I did that. So I used this file in the top piece, which. Should be able to do that. Yeah, okay, that worked. I got rid of all the roughness and metallics because we're not gonna use them. Because we'll be using the base roughness, rough map, so to speak. Get rid of all of these. Tedious work, very tedious work, but this is how you set up for success down the road. If you don't, I'm one of those that I like to set up my description file 100% before I start doing artwork. Because you start doing artwork and then you start fighting your description file and it just can be an absolute nightmare. So I want to have basically a blank canvas to work off of how I'm how I want it to be before I start applying artwork making the changes it also makes it easier to just kind of start seeing your end product so to speak uh, so now we need to set some of these defaults actually all of these defaults but we can just do this Go boom, boom, boom. Don't want to replace all this time for sure. And then this one. Dun, dun. All right. So that's done. Should be working. That should have fixed all these numbers. And then we just got to find the last little bit of that file. Or, or that tail. So. It's taking longer than I thought. I'm glad I actually didn't pre-do any of this. So you guys can see kind of how it goes in the raw state. 
hopefully it'll help somebody out out there that they know that they're not the only struggle with this shit. And the, the sad part is that every module is different, right? Like we can load up the F-18 and it's going to have a different number system. In. All right. We made progress. We are now all the numbers are gone. We are double checking to make sure there's no hidden numbers somewhere that I'm not seeing. Now we need to figure out where these blue textures are coming from. Cause we shouldn't have any blue textures. Everything should be gray. So let's see if we can figure out where they're coming from. Common five. It shouldn't be on there. I'm going to guess it's going to be another. I don't think it'd be a fuel tank. I'm just looking at my file to see. Common two, maybe. I got that one set, right? Interesting. I'm just doing some I'm thinking here while I'm trying to figure out which one's which here. Let's go back over to our templates. Comma three, comma four, comma five. It's got to be something else pulling out. We can also look in here. So we got our common there, our common one there. That's a normal map. Common six. Uh, is there a common six regular? I don't miss it. Gun. All right, Cookie, quit spamming the time. I get it. You're excited, but come on, man. <laughs> We gotta find this blue one. That what we're looking for is blue texture somewhere within the textures here. That's not it, because that's the wings. What the hell? Which one of these is it gonna be? Mirage F1 Common 2. It's not that one. Common one. I'm just going to go through every one of these basically until we see what we're looking for. The crazy part is I didn't see a reference for it in the description file. So not sure exactly what I'm looking for. Well, there's the numerals. Uh, I'll look at it after the stream. I'm not going to look at it on stream. That's just something I'm not into the whole reaction video stuff. So, but I will, I'll look at it. Just not during stream. Essentio, parachute, Essentio. It's where in the hell is this at? I'm not seeing it anywhere. Wield, Wield, Essentia. Not going to be that. I'm, I'm at a loss here. I don't know where this thing's at. Hmm. Interesting. So obviously it does. You can see that there's, it's, it's one, it's one of these files. Take another quick look at our description file and make sure we're not Mirage Common 5. It's not going to be the body helmet or patch. It's not going to be the fuel tanks. Uh, I don't know what it is then, to be honest. Like, I'm. Um, let's do this. Let's grab a description file out of the actual model viewer and see if we can figure it out. So let's do. File F1. This one's going to be a little uglier. It won't be organized. Because <laughs> this is the raw, unfiltered one. But if you need to get a description file, this is a good way to do it because it has everything. Has everything that the, the model uses. I just want to see if there's another common that I'm missing. Common one. One, four. 
six. The other way you can tell, and if you don't want to read through these, because a lot of people are more of a visual looker, we can actually go to the the DCS folder. Or mods, aircraft. Uh, why do I not see there? It is Mirage F1 liveries. Now we know that the F1E has. We just saw it, the company one, right? So this is the Draken one. I don't get how they're doing this. Like, where are these textures at? should be in here with this unless they've got them wrapped up oh here we go here we go they've got them wrapped up in here so it's gonna be one of these but I have no idea which no clue not going to be the numbers not going to be the parachute common seven why i don't know what common seven blue that might be it. oh i think we found it so these are our pylons oops i didn't mean to paint that sorry these are our pylons so common seven let's grab common seven out of our model viewer i'm going to close this down and this down and let's just see if I have a seven in first yeah it's not even in that one so we'll grab this is just our original description file here let's see if we can find 07 in here nothing really so this must be using common six there's some blue there not the right color blue though There's a common seven, but there's nothing on it, which is weird. Common fuselage tail. That's common three, which we're, we're pulling our common three. Wow, this is the most confusing one I've done in a while. Let's try this. Uh, remember I had the common the uh, dash one, so I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna put it at the top though. I don't think this is gonna work, but I wanna try it. I basically just reintroduced the dash one model reference. I don't know why this is so complicated. I just don't get it. Like I understand their process of what they're tr they're trying to do here to where you can basically have different models all on one file, but where is... Maybe I need to do some... Re Maybe they have a guide out there to what's what. There, I got it, though. Adding that in fixed it. You can see right there. So that was what it was on that one. Uh, if we have any other blue pieces, we probably need to do the same thing. And we'll we'll discover that as we go along. The best thing to do would be, well, we got one right there. You can see. But we also need that in our common one. So I guess you need common one and common two for these to work properly. So I was mistaken earlier, but we figured it out. So one is basically detail work and two is your main body what it's like i thought it was like a ce and an ee but it looks like it's different layers of details instead of different layers of models which is good to know at least we're getting there we're really close to actually having the, the base setup done which is nice yeah so that got rid of the blue so we should probably just go ahead and do the same thing for the wing do we have common one we did the wing we didn't change the wing. And we have common five. Let's do common five. Oh. Uh, common one. So that will cover all of our details, it sounds like. And that's it. We're set up for artwork. 
Let's see, how are we at? We are at one hour. Well, that's about how long I wanted it to last, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try to edit these videos down a little bit, maybe, and repost. I might not, I might leave them raw, because as Brad said earlier, it, it's good to see the failure and the troubleshooting sometimes, because sometimes that can help people figure out what's going on. Like, that was, that was rough. That was one of the more difficult ones to get set up I've done in a while. So the fact that I had to stumble through it a little bit it's good for people to see. Uh, you can kind of see the troubleshooting. Sometimes you might not understand my thought process, but the end result, if you can pause the video and look at stuff, you know, you can kind of see what, what was going on. It's really hard to try to show the comparison and stuff in such a small screen space because I usually have a description file for this model open, you know, on one screen and then another you know, reference images or reference description files on another screen, and you can easily copy and paste back and forth. But trying to do it in a stream environment's a little tricky because all I have to work with is it's just this little bit of space right here. So it can be a little tricky, but our description file is set up. Uh, we got our numbers all cleared out. We've got one or three, five, and four which makes no sense all set up which are our three main texture files we we can set up the fuel tank so we should probably do that uh i usually don't set up the fuel tanks until i'm ready to start doing the fuel tanks but we could set them up now i don't know what the model is so that might be tricky Let's see if we have one common here's our missiles oh here they are pt b580 there's one of them. And we have the texture templates for those, correct? I believe they were in the templates. Double check. Yeah, here we go. We got tank one and tank two. Let's grab these. And we'll just move them up into our almond folder here. They're big files. I don't know which one's which. And then in our description file, we need to make sure this is set to false. And we'll want to change this file name. Pull this up. I'm going to do the split again so you guys can see what I'm doing here. I don't know which one's which here. It's looking like we have two tanks. I don't think... I don't think that's a tank that we use. If I'm not mistaken, it's... This one. Yes, that's the one. So let's look at the two different tanks in Photoshop and see what they are. Oh, we don't need. Them. We will probably do the pylons eventually uh, if we need to. I'm not going to worry about those now. That will definitely be a later video. The adding the extra things. Well, we could maybe squeeze it in here. I still have time. I didn't notice. Did these come with? They didn't come with UV files either. So we might want to actually get some UV maps on these. We can cover that as well. Still kind of getting the base model set up. I'll save a copy. Stream livery. So we got this called Mirage F1 Tank. I'm going to copy that name for now. Save it in there. And then we'll make our description file. Same name. Oh, it is the same name. Mirage F1 tank. So we're good there. We can restart the model viewer and that should be an all gray tank now. And we, we'll check the pylons. I would like to get the pylon set up as well. That might be a file we have to pull from the t model viewer though. So we want our Mirage F1. And that did not turn gray. Why did not turn gray? It's a fault. Interesting. It's there. Man, this thing is just a nightmare. I've never had this many problems with setting up a description file. I mean, it's it's clear as day. It's right here. Let's uh, let's look at this. 
Uh, let's go look for these description files. Garage fuel. Take a look at it. See what's going on with it. So that's the name right there. And that's what we have. Mirage F1 tank. Mirage F1 tank. This should be working. Did I misspell something? Did I not reset the model? I should reset the model viewer, right? Checking these other ones. I've never struggled this much. This is absolutely crazy. <sighs> I'm just resetting the model viewer. See if it works. I'm going to close that. Sometimes in the past, you have to open that after the fact. I don't know. It seemed like lately that wasn't an issue. But here recently, or now it seems like it's not working. Let's see. No, it's still not not pulling that texture. I am I am absolutely one hundred percent confused. Did I not save it in the right spot? No, it's right there. I can reload, refresh. It doesn't seem to matter. I am very confused right now. Like, let's open up the other one just to see. It might be something that it's just not updating in the model viewer. And I don't know why. Yeah, see, it's not that one either. It's, it's the other fuel tank for sure. Oops, wrong one. I don't know, the fact that it goes to this every time is annoying, too. It should be going to the Mirage F1, or Mirage, basically. You see, this time it's lowercase ee. Last time it was uppercase ee. There's, there's discrepancies in the model viewer right now, and I don't know what they are 100%. That should be working. All right, let's take a look. Mirage F1. Let's look at our description file. Mirage F1 tank. That is what it is named. In our theme livery. Mirage F1 tank. I mean, we can, we can literally take this one right here. This is the one that's in the model viewer. That's where I just got that from. Let's change it to diffuse. Maybe it doesn't recognize the zero. Oops. Use Mirage F1 tank, Mirage F1 tank. So the only thing that changed, we changed it from a zero to a diffuse. Save it. Let's actually click the save button. Maybe my control save it. Control S is on. Because a lot of times that's how I save it. I just hit control S and save that, which I probably should have mentioned like when I'm updating that. Because it's not a, like a real time update thing. So. That did it. That fixed it. So we had to actually call it a diffuse layer and not use the number system. And I know this looks like crap right now. We'll fix the we'll fix the textures when we get to them. Probably a roughness map, which we'll have our own roughness rough mats eventually. So, but at least we got the tank working. Now let's try to figure out pylons. So we had an argument for pylons. I'm going to just turn on, oh, no, I'm not. That's ugly. Uh, we had some arguments to turn on pylons. Let's find those. I'm going to get rid of that so we can see the wing better. I don't remember what they were, but we did have arguments for pylons. And I want to get them up and just make sure that they are the right color. They probably are not the right color, but we can check if they ever populate. I know when I was going through these, I saw the, oh, that's wing flex. And, oh, here we go. Here we go. So we have, 
Yeah, they're definitely not the right one. We have our wingtip and then our two inner pilot. And these have different, you can see there's different modes to them, which is no problem. We have that one, that one, and I imagine they're all going to be on the same file. So I did find those, but we'll start from scratch so that I can show you guys how to do that. We'll find the texture in here, which I believe it was common. Nope, wasn't six. We just got to find the right file. I'm on seven. You see, these are our pylons. So we're going to navigate to that, which will pull this up. We will open that up. It didn't come in the texture template, so we'll have to create our own texture template for this. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just save this out into my template folder. Mirage F1E. We're going to save it as a PSD. And it's right here, comment stuff. We're going to keep the name the same. We'll save that. For now, I'm not going to edit this. So this one will have to create the file from scratch, which is good. It shows how I can show how that's done later on. For now, we just want to get it basically grayed out so it matches the rest of our livery. Now we need to make sure that that gets added in here. So I'm going to just modify this fuel tank slash pylons. We have to find it. Close that. Bring this up. Let's go to our. I already downloaded or exported the 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 raw description file, so we're gonna use that. F one e. Where's it at? There it is. So we'll just search for zero seven. Common seven right here. This is the one we're looking for. Take that out of there and put it in here. Save and reload the model viewer. Now, hopefully, what, let's look at these arguments real quick. Uh, we're looking at 308, 309 area. Tricky stuff, but it's fun to do. Very tricky stuff. And this, this stuff that we're doing right now is we're setting ourselves up for future work. Uh, right now, we're not going to be doing that stuff. But like I said earlier, if you can see now it's capitalizing. If you can set yourself up for success early, then later on down the road, you won't be fighting it near as much. So. Real eight, there we go. So these should all be just gray now. Yep. And they are. Turn on that so you yeah, can't even see them. So we know we got the right file for that. So we have our pylons. We have our fuel tank, which you can't see on here. Uh, we've got all of our detail work all grayed out with a blank canvas ready to go now. So that's basically the setup of a module to start livery creation. Uh, we got, there's a lot more things that can be different depending on the module you're working on. For example, we can quickly take a look. So here is now our description file for the F1E for our base setup. Uh, we did add this line, the uh, pylon line, because it wasn't included originally. And let's lo now look at one that's a little different, just so you can see that there is a difference. Uh, let's go with... Why can I not see deliveries? I mean, I've been doing a lot of F-16 stuff, so we can take a look at one of these. That one doesn't have one. Go figure. This one does. So you can see this one's laid out a little different. It's all the same information. Like, here's our numbers. You know, versus our numbers here, which are done differently. But it's the same format. You know, you've got your model reference, the type of layer it is, the texture you're pulling, and where you're pulling it from, basically. So, and it's the same thing here. It's your model reference, the type of layer, the texture, and whether you're pulling it from your texture folder or from the core mods. So, 
it doesn't matter what module you're doing it's all the same this one you can see i've added the pylons in on this one as well uh, i didn't do these damage you can see they're set to true so they're i'm not using fuel tanks that i'm working that i did so it, it's all the same it's basically pulling getting your description set up how you want no i'm not necessarily ending i'm just kind of wrapping up getting it set up i've still got to extract uvs and welcome by the way javier uh or ja vr <laughs> Got a little apostrophe in there. Uh, but I'm just kind of showing the overview now that we got the description file done. We have it set up. I want to get UVs because the texture files that we had got from the download don't have UV maps in them. So I do want to get those. So we're going to do that next. We're going to extract UVs. Which is a little tricky, but it's good to learn how to do it especially for like our pylon folder because we don't have a texture map for that we're going to be creating that from scratch and knowing where the things are is very helpful so let's start with we can look at our our description file uh common 04 is what we want to do first just got on lunch break nice 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 so common four, that's the damage. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Why is 04 not showing up? Maybe it's just four. Yeah, here we go. Common four damage, common five, common, common four. So here's our file. So what we'll do is we'll take our UV. You can look at the mapping here, which doesn't really do any good, but we'll go UV to file. Again, I have this all set up. I think I'm going to create a new folder here called F1E. And we'll save that in there. Boom. That one's saved. Now we need our common, our other two, which was five. Here's our wings. We'll do the same thing. UV to file. I don't like that this doesn't remember where you're at. You have to come through here and actually select your folder. And then what was the other one? I forget. We had four, five, and three. Grab three. Common um, three. UV to file. Every. Very helpful to be organized. And then we did our pylons, which was seven, correct? Nope, not seven. What was it? Man, I just did it. You'd think my brain would last longer than 30 seconds. I'm an 07. Yeah, it is 07. Why is it not there? Oh, no. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So we'll grab that. UVs, F1E. That's our 7. And then our fuel tank, which is on another file or another model so let's grab our fuel tank this one it doesn't need to be on our texture because the uvs are the same no matter what texture you're on so we'll grab this uvs f1e and that's our mirage fuel so now we have all of our uvs extracted that we're going to need and load up old blender What you having for lunch, man? Anything good? That to there. Having lunch after stream. So just do general. And then over here, we're going to go over to scene. And here's where the plugin. I have a video covering this. I'm not going to go into detail of all the process of it. But yeah, uh, there's a plugin you can get for Blender. And then we just click this. Go to our liveries, UVs, F1E. We'll just move down the list. We'll do three. And up here, you'll see it say it's done. It's conversion finished. Then we can do the next one. Doing kitty cat. Where are you going, man? We'll do four. Good, he got down. Come on. There it is. Conversion finished. UVs, F1E, five. Finished. Seven. Come on. 
sometimes they take a little basically converting all the points into a image so it can take a little bit that one's really taking a little bit come on two three do that one okay it did four fast why are we one two three four five oh we got them all okay I just didn't see a pop-up that was my fault so I'm just gonna minimize that for now in case we need to bring it back up and we'll head over to that directory UVs 1e e, e, and here they all are we'll sort by type Boom. so you can see it saved them out as SVG files we can just open these up open with Photoshop and it's gonna ask you for the size of the file uh, right here uh, most of the time they're 4k uh if you're uncertain you can always go to the file that you're important to and get the image size so keep that in mind so this is our tail common three we just select it all copy it and then we go to three yeah this is the right file and we paste our uvs in so now if i take that off you can see we have our uvs and usually i'll set this to like a multiple and a little bit of opacity 50 percent so while you're working on stuff you can see the uv map if you do so it can be very helpful to have that uv map on your model when you're doing especially when you're doing like camo patterns and things like that so we'll save that and i'm going to close that because i don't want to get too much stuff piled up in here so let's grab our next one Common four, and again, it's going to be 4K most likely. Most of the image files for DCS are 4K. Uh, the F16 ones I just did, there were 4K. I scaled them down to 2K. Uh, absolutely zero resolution loss, and yet half the file size. So, that's something also to keep in mind when you're doing these. You don't need to have the largest file size. Let's make sure that's the right one. In order for your texture to look good, uh, you can get away with smaller texture sizes a lot of the time. Some of the places, uh, you know, that the exception to that rule, cockpit textures, uh, I tried scaling them down. They look like garbage. So you kind of got to pick and choose. But normally, like, I almost guarantee, and I'll show that when we get to the actual final exports eventually, that you, you rarely can see the difference between a 4K output and a 2K output especially in today's technology of being able to the way that it down samples stuff or up samples stuff, it, it can really do a good job of scaling things not losing it but we got our uvs on that one save this one yeah it's a good friday how you doing twitch we've done a from we're doing a beginner series of how to set up a livery for work. Chose the F1. Now I'm hating myself for it. <laughs> it's just been a little bit rough getting going. I mean, it, but I mean, it's good. Oop, I didn't want to open that in there. It gives people a chance to see that it's not always easy along the way. Oh, dude. Yeah, that they, they don't. They don't do shit for optimizing texture sizes. Most of the textures I do, most of the levers I do, I end up rescaling almost everything. Either I have to upscale them because they did such a crappy job and gave us a 1K texture or less, a 512 texture for uh, something that needs to be 2K or 4K, or I downscale them from 4K to 2K or even 512, depending on what it is. So. Yeah, it, it, it's not, there's one, there's no consistency and two, there's no optimization. So, but if you create your own liveries, you can, you can fix a lot of that. So there we have our UVs on our wings. It's still lurking in the background. <laughs> I'm kind of glad this one didn't have the, uh, pylon template included because it gives us a chance to learn how to build one up from scratch so this is our pylon and you can see so we have no layers here 
So we'll be building this template as we go. Make sure that works. Yep, there's our UVs for our pylons. They're in there nice and solid. Yes, saving stuff as I go. We don't need that anymore. Clean up some of this mess. We don't need that anymore. That anymore. We still got to get our fuel tank template or UVs. Ah, dang it. Keep double clicking on that. I need to just go in and set it to where it opens SFGs with, with Photoshop by default, but don't do it so often that it's an issue. So there's our fuel tanks. Should be this one. Yep. Boom. So we have our UVs for our fuel tanks now. Hopefully you guys are doing some flying tonight. I plan on doing some hardcore flying tonight. And that should be all of our templates set up. We don't need to say that. So we have our common tail with UVs now, and there's the underneath. Now, what I'll also do is like normal map. I don't need this normal map because I am not going to use this at all. Uh, if anything, I'll make my own uh, diffuse. A lot of times I trash these. I don't need, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here you don't necessarily need. Uh, we're not going to do that today. Like, for example, CR Desert. I'm not going to use these. So I can I can just... I'm going to be putting my own skin on here. I don't need any of this. And what I can do is I can bring this gray down. The very bottom. Oh, come on, work. And now we have our gray underneath everything else. So, three tents inbound. I'm glad to hear it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I got a few things I want to test out today, so hopefully you guys are up for doing a little bit of a little bit of experimentation. I'm gonna get rid of this background because I don't want that either. So now we've we've cleaned this up dramatically. We've lowered the file size. So here we can see inside the templates we got the two seater. Evidently it's different. So you can see there's some different things there. I'm not gonna be using the two seater. We're doing the EE for this. Here's the different tells you can see right here where it we saw the different model tail, so we'll leave that for now in case we need to change it. Actually, we don't even need that. We have the UV, so I'll delete that out. That's just texturing for it. Uh, and then we have different tail, commons, CEE. -E. And these are just different details. Uh, you can leave these if you want, just to help you kind of see what's going on. I'll leave them for now. Uh, up here, we have different details, basically. You can toggle things on. Oh, there is a UV somewhere, though. As you can see, there's UVs on here. So they must have UVs in here somewhere. Oh, it's in here. Not that one. Not that one. So it's kind of mixed throughout all these. But yeah, I, I'll end up not using these at all in the end. But for now, we'll leave them there just in case we need a reference. Uh, but these all up here, like dirt, for example, we'll be doing our own weathering. I'll leave this on for now. Uh, different groups, labels. I mean, there's all these different parts and pieces. Schemes is going to be your numbers and stuff. So depending on what your end goal is, a lot of this stuff you won't use. So if you don't think you're going to use it, delete it out. For now, we'll leave all this on until we... Next episode, which will be next Friday, I'll go through each one of these a little bit better as we start putting paint on. So I'm happy with common three. Let's close that down. Do the same thing for common two. Uh, I'm not going to be some of the, but we'll do the same thing. We'll grab our background, drop it down. Where did that go? Man, Photoshop is laggy right now. Turn these off. Let's so see this one. They have set up different as you can see now. This is what drives me nuts about these templates. So many times there's just no consistency between the different template files. So there, that's more like what we're looking for. Save that. And I'm going to end up redoing all of these, these markings and stuff. I, that's just something I like to do unless they've done a really good job to where they're, they're clean and visible. But as you can see, that's one, it's in French and two, I can barely read it. So we'll be redoing that stuff as we go along. Uh, we can make them look better. That's for sure. So that one's done. 
Let's do this one next. So same thing. We're just going to turn that off. We're going to... I don't know what that is. Come on. Don't need that anymore. Definitely don't need that. Get rid of that. That one's cleaned up and ready to go. And of course, it, these are just rough. I'm just trying to organize them a little bit for next week. This one, there's really not much we can do. Turn that on if we want. Just leave that on. That one's going to be a from scratch. Oops, didn't mean to save a copy. Save it. And then our fuel tank, it's good as is. We can turn that off, I guess. And bring that to the bottom. Boom. Templates are set up. So there is start to from starting out with nothing to get in a blank canvas. We have now set up the F1 EE for paint, basically. And that's let's see, an hour and a half. That's about that took a little longer than I expected. We had some hiccups early on with the delivery with the uh, excuse me with the description file and some of the texture naming and trying to figure out how everything worked. But we struggled through it. Didn't do any research. Kind of came in blind, and uh, we're sitting here now. I did do an F one about a year ago or so when the E first came out. I did a template for it, but it seemed like a few things have changed, or my brain just forgot how it worked. So I am gonna wrap it up for today, though. I appreciate everybody stopping by. It's next week we'll be be getting more into the details of this thing, going through the uh, template files, starting to clean up all the layers. I did a little bit today. That's just to kind of show what's going on next week. So next week we'll be digging deeper into the template file. So again, thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button on your way out. Helps out, you know. Say hi. Leave an emote in the comments. Whatever you got to do. Uh, and I'll see you guys here in a little bit when I go flying. Till then, you guys have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.